uh, so um, next weekend, not this one coming up, the next weekend, I'm doing a class uh, I'm going to call Time and Money uh, in the UK, probably Canterbury. That's a class I've done in the past, and I was trying to think of, you know, different, we're going to approach it differently. I'm co-training with uh, Nat Stein and Carrie Hales, and we're going to be incorporating uh, some cash flow stuff, Robert Kiyosaki's uh, technology, uh, because he says you can't go to true personal freedom unless you have freedom around uh, money. And I, the interesting thing about both time and money, they're both kind of illusional phenomena. Time in and of itself is, is marches on, but it's completely relative, as Einstein pointed out. And any concept of the measurement of time is man-made. So we're going to try and talk to you about a man-made, limited, in most philosophical uh, views, uh, commodity. And then we're going to talk also on the weekend about a completely illusional commodity, money. Uh, I've often wondered about, you know, if I give you a certain number of bills with certain people's pictures on them, it seems to make uh, a value exchange that goes on, and it's backed by nothing. And then we get the United States going into its depths of economic struggle, and their solution is to print more of these pieces of money. Now, if you look at how much money you want, uh, basically, it's a matter of zeros. If you want a million dollars, it's so many zeros. If you want a hundred million dollars, it's so many zeros. And it's a matter of zeros. And the point of nothingness, zero, was a, a construct of man that didn't exist. And it took apparently generations upon generations to mathematically show people that there is this concept called nothing. Because think about it, up until then, if they were counting, it was always, there was always one of that. There was always something. So mathematically, we have come up with this zero, which is attached to the end of most of what we think we want. Now, you take these two illusional constructs. You take these constructs that are either man-made or completely illusional, and you get to look and see how much of your life it runs. How silly is this? If I say to people, uh, do you want to do my class this weekend? Nine times out of ten I get excuses. Two excuses, and they're not all reasons. Let's say that. Let's not say excuses. But most of the time, it's I don't have the time, or I don't have the money. So what we're going to look at in the weekend is just those two phenomena. Look at how they're abstracts, uh, how to manipulate them some, and then how to look and see can you get in the flow, particularly of money. Money is called currency. It is a current. What I've said for years, most people are in their canoe paddling upstream so struggling so hard that they don't get. All they have to do is turn their canoe around, float downstream, and they're in the currency. Have fun. Look forward to seeing you. www.micpeakperformance.com